presentation, you mentioned making sure that you do a complete and thorough background check, not only on your own witnesses, but also the witnesses of opposing counsel. And you mentioned it in one case that you had experience with, one of the other team's witnesses had a fraud conviction in their past. Um, does that matter if it is an item that goes back a substantial period of time, like 20 or 30 years ago? Is it a wise idea to still bring it up? Is there a context in which you need to think about, well, this guy or gal had a, has, a, has a problem in their past? Is there an X year? You know, it, More than 10 years ago, don't bring it up. More than 20 years ago, we're going to look bad if we bring it up. Well, I think uh, <clears throat> I think we can break that down in a couple of parts. One, generally, past convictions, you know, there's there's a time limit in terms of their admissibility, and in, I think in a lot of places, about 10 years. So you can't even bring up such a conviction in 10 years for admissibility to impeach, impeach credibility. Um, however, um, you may want to use the information at a deposition to put the witness off guard, let the witness know you know this, that, or about him. You may want to use the conviction in the context of a Rule 702 motion, depending on the nature of the fraudulent conduct involved. Um, you know, <clears throat> whether you know, it's, if you, if the witness gets past the Daubert stage and you're in front of a jury, that's a whole different assessment of whether you know what impact you feel raising the issue would have with the jury. Are you going to look uh, petty for raising the issue? Are you, is it going to you know, look like you're just trying to um, smear the person unfairly? Uh, and again, that will depend on the, on the witness. It will depend on the, on the nature of the conviction and to what extent you're able to um, share with the jury the, you know, the, the the facts and circumstances underlying the conviction. So it's always a judgment call, but there, you know, there are some rules on uh, admissibility. 